What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is iRacing where we're going to be doing a GT3 challenge race. Hey look at I I spy a McLaren. So yeah, it's a GT3 challenge race. In a while ago, it's 30 minute race. We're starting 17th. Going into turn one. This will be This will be fun. This is the moments that uh make sim racing so exciting for me because you just don't know what's gonna come <laughs> come out of turn one at Interlagos in an iRacing GT3 race. So, uh, get ready, going whew, green. let's get ready for this. We already got cars popping out of line. Okay. This is a 30-minute long race, dear people. Looks like the car to my outside, or I should say to my right, he didn't go anywhere, which means that go right. we'll just go right up the, the right up the gut. Clear on the right. How did I know that? How did I know that was going to happen? Should have went around the outside. Could have avoided that easily. But I didn't want to get run over from behind. Good news is, we hit him squarely from behind. Which means that in all likelihood the car will be perfectly fine, just some arrow damage, which will slow us down, but with the slipstreaming here, that should uh Okay, we got people wrecking up ahead, or not. Oh my god. Interlagos, why are you so scary? Car does seem a little bit more tail happy now. I don't know if that's just because I'm out of the groove right now. Cold tires. Or what? But, uh, yeah, I've been out of this car for a while. Uh, actually, since uh, I didn't actually do a race last week at Phillip Island. Which is a shame because I love that track. It's probably one of my favorite racetracks within I racing. Just a lot of racing, a lot of fun to be had at that track. But I just never got around to it. And I did race at Circuit Americas, which was the first endurance race of the season, and I forgot to change my brake settings, so I was running on the medium friction pads, and it was it was terrible, and. This is not going to end well. Or will it? It's like at this point, I already got damage to my car. I would rather just kind of cruise a little bit. And take the Jimmy Broadbent approach right there. Although, in fairness, he did it in a load of 79, and he kept it on the track, which was mighty impressive. I just wanted to back out of it there because I knew what was going to happen. This guy in the P1 car. He is... He is warping. Oh my god, he just slowed down and all of a sudden he just sped up right in front of me. Oh, fudge. I freaking love GT3. It's so awesome. I, I don't know if that was net code or the guy just put it in reverse and started backing up or what, but... He definitely started moving in a different direction than what he was actually going in. Well, they can't all be winners, right? They can't all go exceptionally smoothly. Oh, 
don't even want to know what position we're in right now. So I have a feeling we've gone forward and we've gone backwards and it's only like lap three. Still, we must soldier on. Because it's GT3, that means there's going to be attrition in a 30 minute race. Because, as I already demonstrated, driving standards are not exactly a shining star here in this series. Fortunately, the car still seems uh, fairly undamaged. I don't know, I'm sure it's slower, but... Well, actually, we've gained a spot from the start. Sure, it's slower, but at the same time, it, it at least has the wheels all straightened and everything, so... And really, that's what matters, as we make a very late pass there. Guys in front of me ran wide there. I don't think we're close enough to get a slipstream right now, but if they start duking it out, battling each other. It'd be nice. Here's a little fun fact I was giving the guy ahead of me, the guy in the seven car, crap for uh, starting from pits. And of course, I managed to end up in a turn one crash. Which is really quite uncommon for me. Generally, generally I avoid those. And I could have avoided that one. I just decided to bet on the wrong line and, well, I lost the bet. Kind of like during the Indy 500 when I said Ed Carpenter was going to win and 30 seconds later, he was taken out by my favorite driver. Yeah, that was a great moment right there. Yeah. So maybe uh, the world just bends to my realities, I guess. Or I create my own reality. I guess if I say that uh, a certain guy is going to win a race, opposite is going to happen. So, empty box, you will DNF. Wait a minute. Well, just, just trying to think how this system's working. I will bet you 50 cents, 50 whole cents, that you will not find people on YouTube driving and iRacing. Actually trying to catch the car ahead of you. Actually trying and thinking about random thoughts. these guys to start racing I like actually racing prolonged battles and stuff very nice Keep it up. Oh, there's another yellow flag. You got a slow car on the left. 
This and someone probably spun. Probably no damage, seeing how that area, you probably either get punted or you get nothing. But that's just another car for the guys in front of me to race. Should have got back on the throttle instead of trying to hit the brakes. Would have saved me a whole lot sooner, as counterintuitive as that might seem. Okay, easy does it. Not sure if it's me overdriving the car or if it's the tires from the damage. Just building up too much temperature, too much pressure. even halfway through this race. I think I can probably catch the guys in front of me if I keep things under control and pointed in the right direction. So see that I got this guy behind me now. Seems like perhaps not surprisingly the guy behind me gains on braking, which of course because I'm the one and only guy in the history of iRacing to run the low friction brake pads in GT3 on purpose, doesn't necessarily surprise me. But hey, bright side, we're ahead of where we started. Yeah. Focus. Did take time out of the car in front that lap, so just keep it up. I 
think these guys in front of me are starting, starting to do battle here. Which again would be very nice and convenient. So really racing side by side does nothing but slow you down. I have to say, I am sweating. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Which hopefully you guys can't hear my fan running right now. My uh, air fan, not case fan. GPU fan or steering wheel fan or any other fan. Oh yeah, this guy got no run at all. Womp, 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 womp. He's gonna Pac-Man. Okay, over under. Here we go. Still there. Clear on the left. Ah! <laughs> Miserable fail right there. Had all the right intentions. Just none of the success right there. Okay, Spotter, where's it at? Put the power down nicely there, no traction control intervention. 13 minutes left, and man, it seems like this race has taken forever. I'm barely even gaining on this guy. And now the black car screws this corner up. So I guess the moral of the story is, even if you're driving fairly crappily, not very fast, not on the pace, got a damaged car, you can still have some great racing down in uh, the bottom half of the top 15. Although I just, <laughs> I gotta have a lot of front end damage. I can see now I'm gonna get out of the car at the end of the race, check the replay, and my front end is just gonna be like totally smashed in. It definitely makes passing a little bit more of a challenge. Okay, I'm in the slipstream. I can't get there. Car right. Clear on the right. Those low friction brake pads, low friction brake pads, just slow you down so slowly that 
Even if you break at the same spot, you end up breaking the guy by a mile and a half. How much of a gap this guy pulls away down the straightaway, and if we can stay behind the or stay in front of the guy behind me. It's very slow through there. You really got to back up that first corner. That way, you can just rock it off through the right. Ideally, you should be able to hit it, so that way you just keep it absolutely forward through the right-hander. Not sure if we've gained any positions on these yellows, if they've just been spins or, or crashes. One thing's for sure, I'm not going to go back and do it all in the carnage report because it'd take me six years at this point. better than he was and yeah I think my car is definitely <laughs> definitely wounded because I was running 30.5 rather easily in practice and the car feels fine but I can definitely tell at this point so <laughs> definitely isn't very impressive at the top end Hey, it's driving more like the BMW Z4 than the BMW Z4 at iRacing. That was a physics joke right there. I love how that area is not a 1x. Just like... <laughs> logic! Yeah, four tires actually off the racing surface into an area that quite clearly is not intended to be used as racing surface. Totally legitimate. Go over some green paint at Spa. KILL HIM! I will go through the grass, bro. Still there. <laughs> Don't worry, we got him on exit, I think. Sever that slide. No rush right now. Of course, those are the... Uh, Empty box famous last words, are they not? Stop. 
stop on the left. Go right. Oh, got rejoining. Like at the worst possible time. But hey, free positions. Dude, I don't, I don't even know why you're defending so crazily in the draft. Oh my goodness. What is this? Car on your left. Still there. Clear. That is using all the room available. Holy crap, we're in 12th. Five minutes left. If we get lucky, we might be able to salvage a top 10. Nope, you're not sneaking in behind me. Particularly good, but I think at this point, turn one isn't necessarily a passing opportunity because we don't have enough speed to really pull alongside to make this work. Because I just can't go into turn one as deep, and he's taking a really defensive shallow line, anyways. So, what my best bet is make sure we hit this left hander. Right, left. As good as we possibly can. Right side. Stay on the left. Stay on oh, I didn't really leave him a lot of room there. That was that was me. That was kind of inappropriate. Not gonna lie. That was definitely a very, very, very cagey pass. Which, of course, if uh, I racing's one X areas weren't screwed up, I really wouldn't care. I'd say that's legitimate. As legitimate as it's gonna get. But see, now that is a 1x area that I did kind of just block him off into. But, uh, that was a little bit dirty. But hey, we got the spot. Looks like we're gaining on this guy ahead. If we get two laps, which we'll definitely have at least two laps, we might even get three. And of course, I just went really slow through there for no freaking reason. Could have just been the relative giving me false hope, in which case, no, oh, screw it. As many yellow flags as I've seen in this race, I ain't stopping. Especially because the guy behind me, I'm pretty sure, is probably slightly faster at this race, seeing how my car has. Basically no top end and we only get two laps and there's guys up there racing going in turn one and yeah. 
Anytime people get to racing in GT3 here at iRacing, I start to kind of say, uh, one of them's going to wreck, one of them's going to wreck. I see it now. And don't put it in the grass under braking. Do not ever do that. Well, folks, I would not go away because I have a feeling this run to the line is going to be quite exciting. I'm not looking at my mirror right now, but I can see that there, there's a speck behind me. And I just have to assume at this point that that is another car that's probably racing me for position. But we survived. So we started 17th. We got through a little bit of carnage. Sorta. We, we gained some spots in the carnage. And we lost some spots in the carnage and did even more damage and... Well, as... Really? Uh, really, guy? Really, 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 Marcos? Really, really Australia, man? I mean... Really. Uh, not the best of race, but there you go. It's proof positive that not every race I do goes absolutely smooth as butter. Because, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't happen like that. So, uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle and build up crazy amounts of sweat. God, I hate the summer. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Carnage Report time. Hope you guys enjoyed. I right, bye. I don't think these two guys like each other. Have I mentioned these two don't like each other? Do a barrel roll! Speaking of Star Fox, I'm driving the Pigma Z4 GT3. Apparently. More like lack of grip TV dot org. Har 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 har